Okay, this is part two on <clears throat> on preparation of how to uh, prepare for the coming 2020 uh, Great Depression. Uh, could be 2021. I was listening to Glenn uh, Beck and I was kind of falling asleep and this really caught my attention. And, and uh, since 1988, the Lord's given me the blueprints for the places of refuge. Uh, and I've drawn up, drawn up hundreds of designs over the years. Uh, this here is just a basic, uh, what I was talking about in the second vision. These are your campers, right? These are your campers. And you got them backed in into a dock. This is your dock around here. This would be uh, uh, 16 feet across. 16 foot across. This is a hex hexagonal deck. And this here is, is actually your yurt. This part here is, is round. But your yurt would, would set over top of this hex, right? So you ha would have about 68 feet of walkway around here. And that's really important to to backing, backing up here. Yeah, it might be spaced apart uh, where you have a set of stairs that, that come up to the deck. And this could be halfways enclosed. And just like an old-fashioned uh, deck on a house, right? And so from the center out... It's roughly about 80, 80 feet, but this will handle six uh, units as far as having land somewhere and uh, be, being able to accommodate six families. And you got a center part in which to eat. So I'm just going to flip through some of the work. Uh, this is the same design uh, put into a, into a larger package. So this would actually be a, a quarter acre here, right? This whole thing is a quarter acre, and I have a, a buffer zone around it. And so this is the uh, quarter acre. Uh, <clears throat> I have it kind of expanded, where these here are, are portable cabins, 16-foot cabins. And uh, in case you get a lot of people, you would have your main people here, and you have your overflow here. And uh, you, know, <clears throat> you know, if you got half an acre, it would actually be better than the third, this <clears throat> a quarter of an acre. But you get the idea that it's that's possible. So, and this one here, basically, you got a kitchen, restroom, and four sleeping areas, uh, camper units, and uh, these would be your portable cabins for your for your auxiliary people. That's going to be there, right? The the, rel the relocation platform technology that the Lord gave me allows you to build these cabins and then you just put your tents on top. This is a, more of a color detail. You can see the, uh, the roadways going around and these expansion, expansion in between. That gives you a center, right? So this is, this is one acre. That you're looking at that's one acre and that would give you room for 12 families so this would be good for long term this is put together in a, in a larger configuration so you take that and you times that by uh, okay that's one acre six acres six acres Another six acres on the outside, so this would be a, a total of 18 acres approximately. This is another configuration. This is for a higher density. And you could have little work areas here for replicating your work. We're going to have to be able to replicate the camps, right? It's going to have to be a starting point, but we're going to have to be able to replicate the buildings. And this could be a main gathering point. Lots of different designs. This is the large unit. This is a 72 acre. And uh, Sasha, you behave. I'm dog sitting today. So this is a 72 acre. So you take one, two, three, each one of these to be, you no, know, uh, one acre. You get confused sometimes. 
you know, each each of these is one acre, so that this would be the 18 acre. Anyway, I have this all uh, done up. But this year, um, if you got the people on the finances, right, in each one of these, you, you have approximately uh, 100 people in each one of these star points. And you would have an auxiliary, auxiliary force of maybe 250 people. So these 250 people would be working in the center. And this is where you have to be uh, <coughs> replicating your camps to, to get out, right? So I'm just flipping through. This is a way to make fuel. The Lord's gave me ways to make fuel, to make heat, to make plasma, to take plasma, to gasify garbage, and to make biofuel. This is the uh, logic shelter system. Uh, this is already completed. The plans are already complete for this. This is just the hand drawing that I started out with. So you can see the the two side walls. You got your cross apart walls. You got your floor insulated floor that goes on, and this is your <clears throat> your tent structure that goes on the top for your carport, right, with your solar panels. Your 12 by 36 foot front porch, back porch. And uh, so when you get lots of people, you're going you're gonna to want to have a place to eat. So that's about it. But what we need, we need this. This is what we need right away. We're going to have to build this, right? So, you need to start with this cap. Those, hey, you behave. You know, you guys are going to have to downsize your homes and, you know, get a motor home. You don't need something fancy. You get an older mid-90s, mid-90s, mid-80s. Uh, the older ones are easy to rebuild. The ones that are stick-framed. Sasha, you behave. And to strip them out and make them into a four season, you want three inch walls in your campers. Just an inch and a half of insulation in your walls is, is not going to work. You want to take your three season camper, you want to make it into a four season. This is important. A three season will get you through. Sasha, you behave. You go lay down. Go on. You go lay down right now. Okay. Her, uh, his ma her master is gone and she's kind of acting up. So this is what we need to focus on. You need to downsize your house to get yourself uh, a pole trailer, right? A pole trailer. And if you can, beef it up. You want to make it into an off-grid trailer. You know, without being plugged in, your trailer is not going to last very long. So you're going to need solar panels. You're going need, to need extra house batteries. You're going to need uh, auxiliary power. And like gasoline is not going to last forever. And especially when the shortages come, you're going to have to know how to take waste or or to take, uh, uh, <clears throat> take gasoline and make your own super fuel where you can get upwards of a thousand percent increase in your fuel. And, and the Lord's given me all this over the years. So we're going to have to prepare to make these miniature camps. And this will be the starting, the start for the places of refuge, right? To be portable camps. So you basically got your your camper, you're backed into your dock, right? You back backed into your dock, and you got a in a camp like this. I'll probably put up at least a 24 foot uh, yurt on a uh, probably a 30. Uh, two foot platform then you just dock into the platform or you could actually have 
one shelter logic system here. You could do that, right? Because you can put put them back to back. You can put them side by side. So on the larger one acre models, you can actually have a, I would go probably a, a 32 foot or a 40 foot yurt here with a 36 foot or even a 48 foot deck. That's still portable. And where you, you have your double shelter logic systems like uh, uh, two here and two here. So you could actually have enough for at least 12 families around. You can get lots of people. Well, we need to do this. I'm available. And, uh, but uh, the Lord would have to make a way for me to come to the States. I, where I'm at now, I, I, I do have a legal address. You just have to get some things in order. But it could be that God is calling me down to the States. But you're going to have to provide the funds to get down there, okay? I've been living on the streets and learning to live with uh, on practically nothing. And but the Lord's prepared me over the years to show you how to get by in the times that we're coming into. I've been here before, a couple of years back. I've been helping this lady here, the sister here. Uh, been doing, doing work on her house. So I'm blessed that, you know, God has opened up the doors. Say hello, Sashi. Say hello. Hey, eh? say hello. Yeah. That's a good little puppy. Okay. So I'm just going to sign off here. Hey, that's me. Okay. Good enough. This is uh, Donald D. Taylor coming to you from here in North Bend, the place of my spiritual birth, British Columbia, Canada.